Yeah, we were on a visit. We were looking around the control room. Got there about 11.15. We're in the control room for 30, 40 minutes or so. And uh, a chap entered in, um, in what looked like his um, uniform for doing his guard, DPM, body armour, uh, carrying a weapon. Nothing unusual about that. Um, one of the naval officers walked towards him. Uh, they both disappeared from view into a corridor and that's when I heard the first shot, which my instinct told me was a, a negligent discharge, but uh, by the time I heard the second one, I, I felt that that, that was not, um, not that, it was probably something else. He then um, entered the control room and fired another two shots into the control room. Um, one of them passed close by me, I sort of felt it. Um, and then I, I thought, well, you know, he's got a magazine with 30 rounds in it and he's shooting indiscriminately into the room. So I took the you know, view that I had to try and get the rifle from him. Well, I, he wasn't giving it up easily. I, I run to him, charged him against the wall, had the rifle in one hand and him in the other, um, and he discharged another one while we were tussling. Um, he didn't let go, it was becoming difficult, but I knew that, you know, that once I was committed on that course of action, then I had to take the rifle, otherwise it was going to become far worse. Um, and then I turned him around and pushed him against another wall managed just to get it and another round went off uh, I think um, and then I got him onto the floor and other people jumped on top of him. I think the thing is about uh, civilians is that they didn't know what was going on you know the noise was odd unusual some of them said afterwards they thought it might have been an exercise and that's probably why they didn't instinctively move the way I did I knew straight away that that was not a good situation.